So DJI some time ago released the RoboMaster S uh, S one and what is it? Hope RoboMaster? I don't, I don't I don't know. Say that again. The RoboMaster. I don't I don't know what this is. Yeah. So the RoboMaster. This is actually a kit, and it's designed to. Uh, sort of introduce younger people or, you know, really anyone to the um, world of robotics. So you're going to go ahead and get this kit. You're going to have, uh, what, 546 uh, pieces, right? Mm -hmm. And then those pieces also include 31 different sensors, wow. a camera, and a mini cannon. Um, so this thing has some pretty cool innovations. If you look Right there on that screen, if you go back to that picture that you had up there, yeah. the wheels themselves have wheels within the wheels. So you can see kind of the stripes that go down like the tread. Yeah. yeah. you those, those treaded wheels actually mean this thing can move sideways, forward, backwards, diagonally, everything without any kind of axle that will turn, right? So there's... So it can it can do a complete. My my question is why isn't this on my car? Right? I, <laughs> I, you know how easy parallel parking would be. That's a fantastic design. I love it. Um, but once you build this thing, then you get a full user interface to go and start programming. This thing has the capability of with its camera identifying markers, so you can program the thing to look for markers. Uh, go throughout the room, uh, follow paths. See, there's a good, there it is right there. You can see yeah. on the screen. So, um, you know, it's pretty cool. Uh, and the Canon can shoot two things, actually. Uh, one is a piece of, uh, or a, some infrared light. The other one are some little gel pellets that uh, they come in a very small container. You take out what you need, you put it in a cup of water. They expand out to be the size that, uh, that it wants. Uh, yeah. Then you can load, it looks like a, a AR cartridge that goes in the back of this thing, put like 500 of them in there, and it'll shoot this thing out, um, you know, like a machine gun. So you can have it recognize your little brother, uh, and when it does, pelt him with these little pellets, and then they just dissolve, right? They go away. So uh, all kinds of good stuff. I, I, I love where this is going, right? It's very unusual for DJI. They've got lots of gimbals. They've got drones. Um, Good use of their technology. Uh, I think it's really cool. I, I really would like to get one. Five hundred dollars, a little bit on the spendy side, but uh, I tell you, it's uh, something that I would certainly look forward to playing with myself. And I'm a grown man, so there you go. Oh yeah, well, and, and I'm uh, like literally just kind of looking through it at the at the moment right now, and there is some really cool stuff here. So uh, one the thing that first pops out to me is uh like you're saying like it has this recognition thing you can do so you can have these little markers but also like a line recognition but it you can clap it has like an audio thing too so you can double clap and it does a you know it does a burnout <laughs> like yeah that's what i'm literally yep. looking at right now um and like a, a human gesture as well so like i you can i don't know like this kid's doing here turn yep. it into a walk and then or you can make it go backwards or forward um I, I think that is that is pretty cool i i think this thing's got some but then it's not just that. It's not just a little shooter guy. You can actually build it into whatever you want. It looks like it has actually a build or a dev kit for it. That would be pretty awesome. Um, like this literally looks like a, I don't know, a little Tonka truck gone crazy. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, the, what I would look forward to is when you can put a seven watt laser in it and start burning your cat, right? That'd be kind of fun to chase your cat around with the laser and you know, start singeing its fur and stuff. That'd be kind of fun. I'm kidding. Don't do that. I would never do that. Um, but it would be kind of fun to have uh, some different accessories on there. Like I said, it seems got 31 sensors, so it's going to know, uh, I think, everything except what smell is out there, you know, which um, you know, could be a good thing. Yeah. Uh, so it's uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I really, really like where this is going. Well, I'm just kind of going um, through the, the little videos here that I got on the actual website, a little blaster yeah. that shows you how that works, too. Yeah, very simple, but very cool overall. And uh, DGI. So one thing I really like that DGI does is their their mechanisms for turning and movement. Their little hinges that they have, um, I think, are always very good. So you know, you know, this is going to be a solid product. Like oh, this yeah. is going to be very nice. 
Well, I've got several <laughs> DJI products, right? I've got the Osmo Mobile or the Osmo Pocket, the DJI DJI Osmo Mobile Two. Uh, the the uh, I have had a drone, uh, the uh, Phantom Two. And now I've got the Spark. So I've got a lot of DJI products. All are high quality. Uh, wouldn't trade them for anything. I tell you, uh, Deshaun has a really good idea here. Uh, yeah. Make it a transformer. <laughs> I 100% agree. I would love to see that. Uh, that would be very cool if I could convert this thing to something that could get up and start walking around. Uh, that would be really cool. Oh, yeah. And I think you also said uh, Robot Wars as well. Uh, isn't that a TV show? Don't. What's the TV show for that? BattleBots, yes. Although I'm not sure this would survive, but you fill those gel pads with some sort of acid pads to melt the competition. You might be in, you might be in, uh, in luck. Yeah. <laughs> um, hold on, let me see. There was another thing I was looking at the two axis gimbals, the mechanical wheels. Okay. So that was kind of the stuff that you were looking at earlier. Okay. But yeah. And now how much is this thing? 500 whoppers right there. That's, uh, that's quite a bit for this thing, but you know it's going to be a solid build. DJI doesn't do anything halfway, yeah. uh, and uh, five hundred dollars is going to get you a really good robot. I just like to see more options and accessories available now that uh, come with it for that kind of a price. Right? It's very expensive. Yeah, and it looks like uh, it would only last about thirty-five minutes of continuous use. So you got thirty mm -hmm. minutes. Uh, and battery standby, you're looking at about 100 minutes as well. That's going to be something very nice. And would you say about the pellets, were they disintegratable or something like that? Were they? Do they? Yeah, they do. So they're uh, they're gelatin based pellets that come in a hard form. And before you put them in the cannon, you, you put them in the water. They expand a little bit to the right size, and then that also allows them to disintegrate. You know, later, so you don't have to go clean it up after it. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I think that would be awesome. And um, real quick, I want to call this out um, as – oh, it doesn't look like it's actually popped up. I see it on YouTube, but not here yet. So Deshaun says, Brandon, are you trying to play some Call of Duty uh, mobile squads later? Um, I may not be. I might I might do some, but I know um, Brown Surprise, Alex, actually will. So uh, I'm pointing at him right down below. Maybe you might want to – if Alex – up oh, there it is. Boom. Um if you if you want a friend to play with, I'm sure we can find you one. But anyway, moving forward. So this is going to be something I, I think is very cool. I would love to play with something like this. I think there's a lot here that's, that's innovative and um, very pushing forward, especially on robots. Like there haven't been a whole lot of robots for the mass market that have been something very useful, something fun, something that everybody can actually look forward to and do. They just don't really come by that often usually um they're going to be something that just kind of pops up and and nobody buys it because it's like eight thousand dollars but 500 i don't think is unrealistic for what you're getting i really don't think it's that bad yeah. i i would buy this you know if i of course had the money to buy for something like this um but that's up to the that's up to the average consumer so i would ask the the people in the comments people in the that are watching this now what do you think would you actually buy something like this could you spend five hundred dollars on a RoboMaster S1? That's the question. Well, I'll tell you what I could do is I could do a review and put one of these things together if DJI happens to see this and want to send me one. So <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure that happens. It happens all the time. Yeah. Right? Yep. Um, okay. Uh, moving forward. Now, this is something that I know a lot of people have been waiting for.